today I'm going to do a centering video. Hey, real quick, uh, one update I do have on our electrical issue that we're having out in the shop. We're actually adding in a uh, single phase uh, 240 for the kiln. Uh huh? Uh, yes. There's those things. Got a breaker. Got a spot for uh, the meter. As soon as those are put in by Encore, I'm going to wire up this building, put place plug in that, uh, that a kiln, and uh, and then we'll start being able to glaze some stuff. So I'm really excited about that. Hope you guys are too. See you in a second. I'm going to try and do three, show you guys three centering. One with one pound, another ball that's two pounds, and then three pounds. The three pounder, we'll see. I, uh, we'll see. I don't throw stuff that big that often, and even though that doesn't sound very big. Once you start getting up two, three, four, five pounds, it's, it's, it's just a lot harder. So anyway, I'm going to do my best to show you guys how I center that stuff and see if we can get it done. And uh, yeah, so start off cutting off some and weighing some clay. So we need a total of six pounds. And I'm going to see if I can get close to that just right off the bat. That's six pounds, 12 ounces. Dude, six pounds right on the money. There we go, there's our six pounds. I'm going to try to get this into as uniform a shape as I can. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and wedge it first before I start cutting. This method, I believe, is called the ram's horn method, and I'll show you why here in just a second. see has a little bit you know mouth here's a rim swarm so right, anyway that's, this method is the easiest way for me to wedge well actually there's one other way that's very easy but I don't know if I totally buy into it and that's the slam method and you just slam it down on the ground and it wedges it but yeah that's one way and then there's a spiral method that I'm still not very good at throw and you just give a little turn and you're just trying to work out all the air that could be in the clay you don't want air bubbles into your in your pieces it just makes it kind of a pain in the butt as you throw and this is a spiral net because you can kind of see it's it's sort of spot. Like I said, I'm not very good at it and I think I actually put more air in it. So we can cut it. So we need a one pounder, two pounds, three pounds. I'm going to cut it in half and that should be close to my three pounds. Here we go. Bad camera work, here we go. That looks like about half. Let's see. Almost four ounces off. It's close enough. 3.02 ounces. I'm just gonna try to rip off a pound here. 15.9 ounces, that's gonna be a pound. We're gonna go with that, so this should be two. 1.50, yep. So, there we go. Get these into a nice ball. Super excited. I'm probably gonna edit a lot of that out. Alright, so there we go. Three, two, and one. Okay. Alright, see you at the wheel. These are my bats I made. They're working okay. They're not gonna last very long, I can tell that. 
but they're doing the job right now. I think what I'm gonna do is end up buying uh, some and then use that to drill a hole. These holes are not standard width, and so it's been uh, hard finding bats. I can't find them, so I had to make these myself. They're working okay, but I'm definitely gonna try to buy a nice set and uh, drill the holes. All right, here we go. So first thing you wanna do is try to get this clay in the center, and I did, and I wanna show you one other thing too. Starting as a ball is really important because when you throw down, when you throw that clay down and you have kind of a rounded point here, when you throw that down on the clay, it's gonna expand out. What you don't wanna do is trap air. So you don't wanna make a super flat side or like a side that has an, an indention on there. When you throw it down, there's gonna be air trapped there. So I'm gonna make it at least pointy round and then I'm gonna try to get that right in the center here. Close enough. So not bad, you can see it's, it's a little wobble in there. And uh, I like to start, and, and recently I've started using a sponge to hold in my right hand. And in the positions that I try to get into are my hands like this. And then with my left hand, I'm squeezing in basically. And I'm squeezing in and coning up, which is what I'll show you. I like the, this, to start with the wheel at high speed. I'm squeezing in, bringing my hand together like this, and then coning up to it. Coning it up here to a point. And so right here, this part of the clay is centered. You can see down here, it's not. So I'm gonna try to grab a little down there and bring it up. I'm using that sponge to keep the clay nice and wet. The wetter the clay, the easier it is. And then I'm trying to cone down now. So I'm grabbing my hands, trying to stay in the middle, and I'm pushing down. As I feel that clay to expand, I use my left hand, use my, my hip, and my body weight. And this arm is just like a, a brace that I, I'm not gonna let it move back, so I'm controlling that clay. And then I'm pushing down with either this part of my right hand or this part, it just kind of depends on the clay and, and what I'm trying to do. And then I just hold it steady. I can feel it still wobbling, so I'm gonna come back up. A little more water. I'm really pushing down on the bat, trying to push that clay into the middle. Grab as much as I can. At the end, we'll just put, you know, put use our finger and scrape off any that we can't get. All right, here I go again. I'm gonna push down with the palm of my hand, kind of the fatty part of my thumb, and then this flat part of my outside of my right hand. I'm pushing down. Left arm is now bracing. Squeezing a little water with that sponge. And I can feel it right there is about centered. I don't have hardly any, if that any wobble at all. A little more water. There we go, that's centered. Quick trick to see if it's centered. Make sure your hand's nice and lubricated. And then just put your hand on the clay. And if you're wobbling like this, you know you're off center. And it feels pretty centered, so let's throw a mug. shouldn't be too too terribly hard uh, especially if you've been throwing in any any amount of time 
but it's still gonna be the same idea. I'm gonna still try to use my hands here and push them together and come up and comb this baby up. You can see down at the bottom, we're quite a bit off than we are at the top. The top's pretty good. Feel and you can see a little bit of a wobble here, so I'm gonna do it again. And we're still off center. Oh! I'm telling you. I'm still learning guys. It's really important to get it centered because once you start pulling, especially when they, they get bigger, it, it's just, it really can throw your, your pot off. And so, I'm gonna try to be a little relaxed because I feel like I'm working a little too hard here. All right, I think that's got it. I'm just gonna try to make a cylinder here. A nice straight tall cylinder we'll see how that goes and may turn it into a picture of some kind I think that actually is what maybe what I'll do Not bad. It's okay. Get a handle right over here. Boop. Picture. Make some tea. I'm okay with that. See you next three pounds coming up. Okay, here we go. Three pounds. So the two pounder took us what? Three times, three up and downs to get centered. And we'll see what this does. But we're gonna do that one more time. This also has, has kind of helped wedge the clay a little bit. All right, I think that's got it. And when you release, release nice and slow. If you release too fast, you can knock it off center. That's gonna work. I may go a little faster on this one as far as the video goes and just throw something so I'm gonna shut up and just do it. Well, as you can see, I went too much and I was trying to kind of get a specific shape and couldn't do it. And this is what happened. Oh well, it was, uh, I was getting there. I was kind of happy with what I was getting. So I'm just gonna go fast again, see if I can do something with this without, yeah, we'll see what happens. Well, as you can see, it didn't go on that three pounder. Oh well, this was a centering video, not throwing a perfect base video. All right, so hey, thanks for watching today. We, we centered some clay, we centered a one pounder, a two pounder, and centered a three pounder, and then failed miserably at making a base out of that thing. Uh, hey, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm really excited about hopefully getting this kiln going here in the next three to four weeks. I have to change the elements out of my kiln. So that's gonna be fun, never done that before. Um, so hey, if you're interested in these things, if you're trying to learn to uh, become a potter, as I am, I wanna be, um, stick around. 
subscribe. You're going to see some more videos coming up. Uh, subscribe, comment, like this video, please share it. Uh, that really means a lot to me. Um, yeah, so I really appreciate everybody who's sticking with me and watching. Uh, anybody who's new to the channel, thank you so much. Uh, here in West Texas, it's starting to cool off, and so I'm going to be out here a lot more often, hoping to see you there. So subscribe, like, do whatever else you're supposed to do on YouTube. I'm running out of battery. I'm out. See ya.